Hi everyone, vlog number eight. How do I and what do I use to make videos as a blind YouTuber? Or video producer, whatever you want to call it. Well, I would hardly call myself a video producer because I don't produce them. I go straight to camera and hope that it all works out for the best. So even in my longer videos, you know, the 30 plus minute videos, it's just straight to camera, no editing done because I'm not uh, comfortable at editing and not confident, so I don't. So uh, what you hear in my case is what you get. So I just have to hope for the best. Well, all of the things that I've talked about and uh, I'm gonna talk about now are linked in the video description and they link to amazon.co.uk links. So uh, you can always just take the titles of the things I've mentioned and search them out elsewhere if you want to. You probably get cheaper prices in some cases or whatever the case may be. So what I tend to use is the following. Sorry about that. I thought something had broken and it hadn't. It's all right. It's just my mind playing tricks on me. I use a Joby Gorilla Pod and that's what it's called. It's a magnetic Gorilla Pod stand. It's very cool. And what it does is it has magnetic feet on it. And this enables them to stick to a metal surface. In this case, my Korg X5DR sound module, which is at a decent height on top of my Roland SE88 sound module, on top of a now defunct uh, DBX compressor, on top of my very lovely Roland Phantom XR. So all of these things um, lift the phone off of the table. Um, if, if the phone wasn't off the table, it would be at the height of this keyboard that you see here, uh, which is the Complete Control Mark I. And it would be far too low, so I'd have to raise it up. Um, and when I sell off a lot of this stuff, which I probably will eventually, I will have to find an alternative method. But for now, this stuff acts as a very stable and sturdy phone holder. All right. So once we get past the magnetic uh, Joby uh, GorillaPod stand, we need uh, a thing that will hold the phone. And that is the Griptite Joby stand, uh, not stand, sorry, a smartphone holder. It connects to the stand via a screw thread. And uh, you can pull the clamps apart and fit your phone into these clamps, you see? It's very clever. Um, and also you need an interface in my case because I do everything in stereo wherever possible so I use uh, the Apple lightning to USB camera connection kit uh, and then I go from there to a Behringer or Behringer UCA202 sound card uh, and this enables me to bring you audio like the what you're hearing from the mixer now which is important so I can give you good music and also play my keyboard and my microphone as well. Otherwise, uh, you would hear not a lot. Basically, you'd be hearing whatever the phone is picking up in the room, which is kind of dif uh, besides the point, isn't it? Because the whole point of my videos is about sound, more so than the visuals. And then once you have gotten past all that, um, you just need to get the right cables to connect all your gear to your equipment. So I'm using a couple of, I didn't link to these because you'll probably all need different things. The Behringer UCA202 interface um, is a class compliant device, so it doesn't require any drivers, and that's good because you can't install drivers on iPhone. And if I didn't mention that, which I didn't, I'm using my iPhone 8 as a camera, and it's just static. Uh, and this Jake is with me, Jake is my nine year old son, and he films for me sometimes on a couple of other videos. Very good guy. He's really into his camera work as well. He really enjoys it, so yeah. If you have a Jake around and you can uh, have a mobile camera, then that's great. And if you don't have a Jake around, then you've got to do something else and have a static camera like I do. Um, so yeah, the iPhone 8 is, is the camera device, the videoing box, if you will. And all that gear is uh, attached to or connected to it in some way. So just to recap then, um, on top of my stuff is the Joby GorillaPod magnetic tripod. And on the tripod screwed to it is the, again, Joby Griptite phone holder. And my iPhone 8 sits in that. And connected to the phone, once the phone is in the stand, is an Apple Lightning to USB camera connection kit device. And connected to that is the Behringer UCA202 sound card, which is RCA uh, in and out. And I have both coming off of it so that I can hear what the phone is doing. Because when the... Um, when the device is connected to the phone, all audio from the phone disappears. And as someone that requires voiceover to work, I need to be able to hear what the phone is saying and doing. So I have that going back into my mixer on another channel. And uh, the other way coming from the mixer 
uh, goes into that sound card and um, I'm using sort of RCA to quarter inch jack cables to bring stereo audio into the interface. So that's really it, it's, it's not a long thing. It sounds probably more complicated than it is, but when you look at the items I've linked to in the description, uh, you will see that it's actually very simple. And that's really it for this video. I mean, I, I don't have a lot to say yet. Uh, I do have some very interesting and very exciting news, um, which I'll probably talk about tomorrow or Sunday, maybe Sunday when a friend of mine is over, but we'll see. I, I've got stuff to tell you all, and I think it's incredibly cool. I'm, I'm super excited about it. Uh, I found a guitarist who lives very close to me. And when I say very close, I mean, if I were to stand in my back garden and shout, he would hear me. That's how close. And he's lived there for three years. So yeah, I will, I'll talk all about that at a later date. Anyway, for now, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe and share. And if you decide to get into videoing in this way, hopefully you can do it quite cheaply. Um, all of this stuff probably adds up to just under 100 UK if you do it right. Um, apart from the phone, of course, that's the most expensive element. So there we are. Take fine good care of yourselves and uh, we'll catch up again shortly, I suspect. I don't know when and I don't know where, but it will happen. Bye for now.